To create an audio waveform inside of Adobe After Effects, we first just want to grab some music. So drag some music onto the composition, go into the drop down arrow, audio, waveform, and then just drag your music along until you're happy with the positioning. Now we'll go into layer, new, solid. Make sure this is black, press OK, press OK. Go into effects and presets and search for audio waveform. Drop that onto your black video. And then inside of audio waveform, we want to change the audio layer to the music. Now you can move the start point and you can move the end point. Or alternatively, if we create a mask, so let's create a rectangle, we can actually change the path to follow that rectangle. Or alternatively, you could just keep it as a basic straight line. So if you go to none and we turn on the proportional grid, we can set the start point over here and the end point just over here. So you can see now we just have this generic waveform. From here, we can change the displayed samples so we can pull this all the way up to smooth that out. We can go to maximum height to increase the size of this. We can go to audio duration and this is just how long that's going to hold on for. So if we pull that down to a really small number, it will be very quick. So it would disappear very quickly. But if we have that at a much higher number, you can see the audio waveform holds on a lot longer. I generally just keep this at the default one, two, five. Then we can go to thickness and make this thicker. We can go to softness and soften this up or just harden that up. I generally keep that all the way down at zero. And then if we go into waveform options, you can select a mono mix or you can specifically target the left and the right channel if you are working with music in stereo. Then you've got the display options and you can change the look of this. So you can go for analog lines, which is typical. And then if we go into display options, we can change analog lines to digital or we could change it to analog dots. It doesn't matter what you choose here, but the next step is to change the color and we're going to ignore this. And instead we're going to go into effects and presets and search for ramp. That should load up gradient ramp. You can now drop this onto the audio waveform layer. We'll change the start of ramp to the left, the end of ramp to the right. Then we'll change the start color to something vibrant. So let's go for an orange and the end color will go for pink. Then if you just increase the ramp scatter, you can see this is what we have. You can also go into effects and presets and search for glow. Drop that on, have a play with these settings and you'll end up with something like this.